Ah! Uh, it doesn't like me tavern out. Bear with. Yes. Okay. Subtitles on. I think everything else is fine. Import Mass Effect from character. John Shepard. Shepard. Yeah, well now that it's borderless. Okay. Veteran Hardcore Insanity. Powers more. I think we go for Veteran. Because, I mean, in Mass Effect 1, or normal, I was just running around, standing in the middle of a firefight, just unloading with my assault rifle. I felt unkillable. So we'll go with Veteran. Imported save game details. Rank 53. Soldier. Renegade. Oh, this is cool. Erdot Rex survived the mission. Ashley Williams was killed on Vermeer. The council was lost during the attack on the Citadel. Commander Shepard recommended Captain Anderson. This is cool. I like this. So those are the big, f the four big things, huh? Fair enough. I will move my camera if need be. <clears throat> I don't know where the subtitles will be yet, so. Shit. Sorry. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Well, not that the death getting go rare. And he sees for galaxy now. The human accounts is forced to respond to evidence that the Reaper is enormous machines that eradicate all values of the future. Returns to call the rumors. The council has sent Commander Shepard in the Normandy to wipe the last copy of the Geth resistance. We see the blinding vision of Geth. Blah, 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 blah. Mission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. <coughs> Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. 
Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! There he is. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. Get to the damn shuttle. I'll haul Joker's crippled ass out of here. <clears throat> Commander! Get the hell out of here! Oh shit. Talk to Joker. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to...
sure. Just another routine mission. <clears throat> Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. But look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move, could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus. Another Turian wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. 
Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I decided discretion was the better part of valor, and kept my focus on our goal, finding Sarah. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Venezia. Saren had taken her to Novarian, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Venezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Venezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Venezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't take the chance. I had a mission to do, and an army of angry Rachni would be one more problem I didn't have time to deal with. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless against Saren's will. I had to destroy the base, and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Ashley behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a soft spot in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice in order to stop Saren? We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. 
but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. EA Sports. It's in the game. I just imported my character, so there he is. Oh, how do I do that? You gotta keep, gotta accept import face. Yes. Okay. Uh.
Okay. Just like he has this weapon training, but he can wield anything? Like, how does it work? Okay. Well, I mean, it's a good variation, so I'm, I'm gonna go with that. It's my kind of play style, anyway. Except, yes. <laughs> That's fair. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. My God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <laughs> Scott's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Staff falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimate's off. Run the numbers again. Hepper. <laughs> there he is. Grab you. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get How do I? Wait for me to loot and explore the area. If it's too loud, by the way, let me know. Because I uh, I upped the sound after last time when you were like, it's not very quiet, but it could be me because my ears were blasted. He's not. Check out these computers. Nope, nothing. I'm going to go this way then. 
Or is this the way to go? Nope. Holy shit. Okay, there's no crouching in this game. We've been spotted. Take the elevator down one floor. Better reload this actually. Oh, I don't need to. Hurry, get to the door, run. You're doing fine, Chef. Head to the next room and I'll find me. Chef, it's been a freebie. I've got big closing in on my position. Oh, there is a mech in there. Still a work in progress. Look, pal, I don't know where I am or how I got here. Plus, my head feels like an overripe melon ready to split open. How about you fill me in a little? Damn. Yeah, I forgot this is all new to you. Sorry about that. Prick. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Fucking ye. Grab your coat. Target down. OK. 
Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Ooh, a day pad. Do you want a medal, mate? Medal on a kiss? Haha! <laughs> I saw a laptop. Fixes my leg. Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid station on the wall. Even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. 
Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttle. These mechs don't know when to... What am I using? That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance. Before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. You must have some reason for bringing me back. Tell me what's going on. All gotta come from the boss, Shepard. As soon as we're safe. We're almost at the shuttle. What is happening? Alright, there we go. They've seen us. Power, power. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Hi. Through here. We're almost at the Miranda, but you were dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you, and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon, if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. 
If they're not here now, they're not coming. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when the slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Fuck him. Just kill him. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Ooh. I guess I have no other option at the moment. There you go. Let's keep the uh let's keep the uh let's keep the default. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? 
Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. So, in this game it looks like the Renegade options are up here. Whereas before they were down here. Nothing you say is going to convince me to trust you. I need more than words. I'd be disappointed if I could persuade you that easily. Go and see for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Is this a volunteer job or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Squad. Oh, damn, I don't really have much, do I? Okay. Um, AI hacking, incinerate, cry ill ammo. So this is a passive. I think let's just do this. I'm happy with that. 140k, holy shit. Okay. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. You sound jealous. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Well, we ain't shagging her then. <laughs> right, okay. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? No. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Punch him. Press the punch key. Nothing happened. <laughs> Okay. Oh.
Tally. Uh, I think you mean Garrus. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. Damn. Should have picked female then. Do I get more than just a pistol now? No? Okay. Oh, I do. Wait, is there a new... Okay, overload. Warp service officer. What do you do? Um... Let's do a bit of both. Same here. So I have my grenade launcher. So am I being lied to right now? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what I like to see. But considering I have 10 shots, I should probably conserve it. Looking for secrets. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Hmm. Nothing up here. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Okay, they blew up. I have played Mass Effect 2 before. Hear that? Sounds like Ben respects. Strange. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. 
Like, for example, I'm pretty sure this is where you meet Tally, if I'm not mistaken. Highlight individual nodes, two matching symbols. See if I remember how to do this. Okay, it's easy enough. I see you, Shepherd. What? Who does? Oh shit! Is there like a roll I can do? No. Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his Sutsio 2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. We need to team up. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Hell yeah. What? Be I was... careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. I see him. For the warning. We'll take care of him. They've seen us. Who? Oh. Yes. <laughs> That's like Osu, that is. On who? Take him away before you get here. 
We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loaded bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. My henchmen. One tough son of a bitch to take down. Right, well, let's get rid of his shields. That did nothing. issue, isn't it? That was a complete guess. Oh, that's how much credits you get. Okay. I'm starting to remember. Do you remember? Blah, 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 blah. blah. September. Jesus. Oh, we talk to Tally in a minute. Can Tally the votes? We can use this. Alright, let's go kill him.
monsters coming back. Mechs will protect, safe from swarms. We have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming. Storm oh. coming. Storm of swarms. You're not one of them. You're human. They, they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. That's some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Um... The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. I... I don't remember how far I played. I know... Like, they'll, it'll probably come back to me, but like parts I recognize. Just treat it as if I've never played the game before, just in case there's. I've only played like a little bit. Like, for, for instance, I remember headbutting a Krogan. I don't know how far into the game that is. I, you know, there's just like little bits. Just treat it as if it's my first time. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship. And then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. What a waste of time. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. I dark energy. Don't we need to get think so. To the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. Again, we'll we'll just pretend I don't. What? Or what? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Ah, uh, I, I don't want to be mean to the companions, but I want to be renegade. <sighs> you don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. I said I, I want to be renegade, but I don't want to be a dick to the companions. But my choice is just be nice, I, I guess. Oh, yeah, because... Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing renegade and paragon as, um... What were the two options in the Warhammer game? Purist and the other way. Whereas, like, if you choose one decision, it minuses the other. But they just both get added up, don't they? So, like, a Paragon decision doesn't take away from the Renegade decision. 
He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Gotcha. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Oh seven! <laughs> it says oh seven! Oh seven! Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Bedor's debriefing. No new data. But it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Um, um, uh... Having friends pays off. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. You don't seem surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens. Usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Oh, really? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just oh. further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? Uh, I see. For the Reapers, it could be any number. Of <laughs> Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? I mean, everyone deserves a fist in the face in this game. It's just more deserve it more than others. Uh, so, sorry, some people deserve it more than others. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Council and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I decide is on my team. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough? How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. No, Garrus. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I've found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. 
You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. It saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Hell yeah. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. McCulkers! Beat the game. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. This is my ship, bitch. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard, unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice, nothing more. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Kick! Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Fast, can we return our post to Miranda? <laughs> right, you need to help me. We need to fuck as many people as we possibly can, okay? That, you, you can tell me about. So, like, first thing I'm going to do right now is go and find what's her name. That's the first thing I'm going to do.
because last time last time it was because I didn't talk to them enough between missions so that's exactly what we're going to do shut up Examine on the ship. Right, well, now I know. I'm, I'm gonna go over the top, man. I'm gonna talk to fucking everyone. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I remember this. I remember there's a guy that sits in the engine room and he's got like a dumb name or something. Krogan. Jack. Who's Jack? Sounds from... Huh. Women's restroom. Restroom is on the port side of the ship. Yeah? Bold woman. Hmm. I don't I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Uh, she should be a year old next month. Oh. Punch him. Oh, there we go. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. I don't want to s You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. <laughs> what can I ask? What level of genetic modification? It's very thorough. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy. Thanks for the information, Miranda. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Alright, sit down. Nassau. Commander, <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. You fucking bitch. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Okay. Surprise again. Come on, Rupert. Uh, Rupert! Says, Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That's real nice, Mr. Gardner. Chakwaz.
Okay, so... So what you're saying is, there's one person you can choose to romance, and then Liara and Bold Woman is like... You can... Do whatever. Just want to make sure I got that right. Would he? Pretty much. Okay, gotcha. Squad. Let's do. Do tactical cloak. Sure. Maybe I had to re. Oh, okay. Well, we'll find out then, I guess. Can you believe this, Commander? It's I mean, baby, better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you were such a downer. Fuck you, man! Check is clean. Ah, cool. Okay. Right, well, let's get on the map then. Same banger. Okay, hold on. Let it save. Oh, I should probably, uh, I should probably check out the journal, huh? The veteran. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Omega in the Sara Barrack. We're going there. Omega, Sara Barrack, Omega. Oh, this is how it works.
Guess we gotta choose two losers. Cycle appearance. What the f- What is that? I think since I am able to, uh, like, these guys can die and it doesn't matter, I'm not going to worry too much about, um, you know. The art projector. That sounds pretty cool. Let's go with that. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Aria waiting. Afterlife now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Whoa, okay, I don't remember this. Zaid! Whoa, there. I know, that's why I chose to come here. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always want to Omega. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfel Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it to do it. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. <laughs> that guy. Oh, I really like that guy. <laughs> Let's go be big goddamn heroes. Alrighty then. Okay. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? What are you looking at? The 
man who's damn about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, fuck off. Whoa! Fucking big boy over here. He shot himself when I pulled my gun out. Punch him. Christ, shut the fuck up, man. going on man That's close enough Stand still Try it and you'll be scanning the inside of your coal I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk, you get scanned. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no title ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead, too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Sounds perfect. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're going to make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered. But it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after our game? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is our game. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solis. 
Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. Indifference about me? One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Where else are you gonna be? Stupid. Ah, the Merc guy. I hear you recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. If you're sure, registration's in here. Good luck. You'll need it. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> He's dead. Right. Transport depot. I think that's what it said. Miranda. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. Piss hole. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Piss hole mind. All right, kid. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Lol. Oh, there he is! Yes, let's get him in. Look at this legend.
So is there no, uh, like, inventory in this game? It's about time they send me someone who looks like they can actually fight. You bet. I'm ready to go. Busy with you? I'm on my own. I don't need any help. Just tell me where to go. Right. Just head through there. I'm sure you'll find your way. I'm on it. Uh-huh. <coughs> they tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building oh. at the end of the boulevard over there. Okay. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Katka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Katka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> I love this guy. Let's worry about finding him first. I don't remember this guy from Mass Effect 2. Maybe I just completely missed him the first time. DLC. Oh! I have DLC. <laughs> Good to know. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. First wave goes in. The infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Spoken of Garm. Blah, blah, blah. I don't expect. Do you need something? Sorry, my mistake. Freelancers. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? I'll get going. Good idea. Fucking prick. Punch him. Kill him all. Two doors. Holy shit. Shit, I remember this. Uh, am I crazy? Here it is. Wait, how do I? Okay, space. Uh, this one. No. Okay. Uh, this is not that one then. This one. No. Okay. Oh, this. Sorry, I'm blind. that one and then one with purple text okay I get it that was pretty bad by me Fucked. Oh.
Well, that's what I wanted, so that's fine. You bet. I'm ready to go. Right. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. I'll get to it. Head up to the boulevard. I better go find someone. Watch it's going to be easy. Let's worry about finding him. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I'm unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelance. That should slow them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Nice. Garm. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. I should get going. About time. Ew. Skills. Okay, there's a door I can bypass. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. Why haven't you talked to him? Because I'm not stupid. This assault is damn dangerous. All right, what's in here? What's your problem? You! Just get this scum out of my face! Tarek! What seed in your ass? Zaid? You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You talk, Angel. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Okay. Out of the way! Right, let me bypass that door.
Oh, fuck. What have we got? We can use this. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Alright, let's go see the Sarge. Gathka? Sergeant Kafka. Be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us the signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> Archangel doesn't have much time left. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Fucking sniper rifle. Bomb, okay. Ah. Alright, let's get to Garrus. Archangel. see you too. Ah! I'm just surprised to see you. You and me both. Still, it's good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. Well, 
We got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. Let's kick ass. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little Merc blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. I didn't even see them. One less now. I didn't even see the renegade Indeed. option. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You, you can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got. Are these guys uh infinite? Yeah, and stay there. Wasn't infinite after all. You want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this. I think. Go. Right. Damn it. Sending out the heavy mix. That 
that problem should take care of itself. I see that. I got you. Man. I wouldn't let you die like that. Well, <laughs> right. I think I've looted everything here. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me, and we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. What were you after? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. I'm not surprised he decided to work with the other mergs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Zaid, stay with Gears. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. You're not dying on me yet, Garrus. Shut down. 
Oh, fuck. Making some fire, Shepard. Time to get those damn shutters open. You mean close? I'm trying, Garrus. I'm trying, man. Well, this is awkward. Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel.
Man, this gun is awesome. Fortress showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Heads up! Guys, getting covered. Damn it. Fucking idiots. That thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of it. Watch your back, Shepard. And cover you idiots.
nice. Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. He better. for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? No worse than usual, buddy. Hell yeah. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fucking legend. I love him, man. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. Cerberus, Shepard. Do you remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Hell yes. Our boys back. Let's take a look at these uh, new guns. Never mind. Oh. We need to talk to Miranda. You've received a new message at your private terminal. I have I now. Jesus.
Now we can talk to Miranda and Garrus. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Just remember who's in charge. I know exactly who's in charge. I report to him regularly. I'm here, we're both here, because he wants it that way. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with him? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. I assume that Cerberus approved of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But <laughs> for his own selfish reasons. Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Richard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Oh! Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Commander. Yeah, have a minute, There's Miranda. a lot to do, Shepard. Cool. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Garrus! Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega. But I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Hell yeah. Alright. Up, up and away. No messages for you, Commander. Happy days. Two points. Uh, let's do incinerate. Why not? And that's going to be all for me for today.
I love you. Look after yourself, stay hydrated, enjoy the rest of your day slash evening, and I'll see you tomorrow for Borderlands and maybe The Ascent, or whatever it's called, with Bast. See you then. You know what? You know what? You two for regular updates. You two do my outro. What did you just do it? No, I'll do it again. My part is going to do it. Alright. Discord! Go there for memes! Also, updates! There's a YouTube channel, that's where the VODs are! Buy shirts, merch. Yeah? Don't it's forget her. Fight. If you don't like Discord, there's a Twitter. Fill out the form. <laughs> <laughs> this, this form will send you to your grave. <laughs> Stop it now. Fill out the form to get your permission slip to go to Chernobyl. Daddy's brand sauce is coming all over your face. <laughs> if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Rate five stars back in 2007. Make sure to visit <laughs> someone else's. Make sure to visit www.com. <laughs> Could you repeat that one? That's www.com. Join in, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>